Hello Pisces, this is Mystic Virgo 4444 with your weekly timeless tarot read. I hope it resonates with who it's supposed to resonate with and we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you all for my new subscribers and my regular subscribers. You all have been amazing. I appreciate you each and every last one. Okay, so I've done some pre-shuffling already, so I'm just going to go ahead and get your reading started. So whenever you see this reading, hopefully it will resonate. Take what you need and please leave the rest with me. Leave the rest with me if it does not resonate. Okay, you all? I'm going to get started here. Just doing a couple of shuffles here. The decks I'm going to be using give me a clear and concise reading for this Pisces reading. And I hope it connects with you wherever you see it. Pisces, I have two parts that already fell out. Communion and grounding for you. Communing with nature. Communing with yourself. Maybe you need to be honest with yourself about something, okay? And ground yourself in your personal truth. And your ground yourself in your personal truth through your personal tragedy. Whatever that means to you. I don't know where it came from, Pisces, but ground yourself in your personal truth regarding your personal tragedy. Okay? Whoever that resonates with. Knight of Pentacles. That seems to be coming up a lot. Knight of Pentacles. Justice card. Something that's going to come to you uh, and it's going to bring you justice in a fair and balanced manner. You know, um, whatever's been happening for you, maybe financially or whatever. If you're getting ready to, uh, to, things are getting ready to change for you, high priestess, because you've stayed in your power. You've communed with yourself. You've, put your, you've grounded yourself. You've let go of negativity in your life and you've just moved on. You've grown because you've, you've learned from the things that you've grown from. Did I, that make sense? <laughs> you've grown from the things that you've learned from, even though you're still uh, dealing with some issues here with this two of pentacles, you're still growing here for whoever this resonates with. You're growing from whatever it is that you need to grow from. Page of Cups. You may have been getting little bits, bits and pieces through the universe, okay, through different... Um, Different means, learning different things about yourself, probably dealing with some self anger issues, also dealing with that. Learning high priestess, I have here the six of, of, of wands, being in a happy home, even if you're single, making sure that no matter what you do, that you do the right thing because it's going to, that's the right thing. Doing the right thing is going to make you happy here. I have my, the nine of cups. You're being very, very uh, happy in your humble abode by yourself if you're single uh, you're probably overindulging in something having a good time though with it whatever it is maybe maybe you're watching too much tv not working out as much as you should be take how it resonates here you've had issues with people being a little bit facetious being a little bit um, obnoxious but you've straightened that out you've learned how to roll with the punches you you've stood up for yourself okay you've spoken your mind you've spoken your peace you let these people know i'm in charge of my feelings and how i react to certain situations and you've cut these people out with this uh tower energy cut them out you don't deserve it the universe is, is telling you you deserve more in your life than you're than you're giving than you're giving yourself credit for here pisces you, you're worth more than that here you have a new love coming in too for you through being by yourself, staying grounded, reminding yourself of who you really are, and, and listening to your intuition in the universe and praying about whatever is going on in your life or whatever you've had to learn through, God is sending you a true love. Okay? Creation. You've been very, very creative with your thoughts, with your feelings, with your emotions. You're doing things different. You're ha actually looking at life differently, handling life differently. Making your own dreams come true. Making your own dreams realities. And you're shape-shifting. You're, you're changing. Yeah. You're changing your realities here. Your universe is changing for you. Um, just the way you are. The way you respond to people. Especially if you have anger management issues. You're learning how to recalibrate your mind. And think, how can I get? How can I stop myself from getting so upset? Find different ways. Different coping mechanisms of dealing with, with your anger issues and balancing things out inside your mind. 
It's like even, you may have to actually, Pisces, go inside your mind to balance something out before you say it. It may take a little extra time, a few seconds longer, but you're still doing it because the, what are, the things that you've been doing have been causing tower moments for other people. Sometimes that's, that's good, but sometimes it's not because you're shooting your own self in the foot with that kind of energy. But you're headed toward beauty. You're headed toward uh, a new destination. You're headed toward love. But you may have conflict in a, uh, in a love relationship if you don't already have conflict now. This is you going back to remembering who you are, dealing with anger management issues, knowing how to handle an argument with not dignity, but but being a little bit more fair in relationships. Because in the past, you've probably been a little bit unfair when it came to arguing a situation out in a relationship. And you're taking that leap of faith because you know that you need to change your life. Change your thought process, how you work with things, how do you work with your anger management issues because you're overdoing something here. So take how it resonates. There's something that you're overdoing dealing with home and whatever you're doing, you, you tend to do it by yourself. OK, and that's by choice. You have a choice to come out of being stagnant, being all up, up in your feelings about certain situations, about what you've been through. And I have so you've been still. It's, it's been still around you by choice. This is what you choose to do here for yourself, Pisces. You wanting to you want peace to be still in your life. You want peace to be still in your life. I'm gonna write this down. So I just make sure I see what your title would be for this reading here. You want your peace to be still. And it will be because you've grounded yourself and, and you're 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 changing your thought process, Pisces, about how you handle the situation. And you're wanting to temperament. It's like you want to balance out your temperament, your self-temperament, how you feel about people, uh, how you let people affect you and what and what comes out of your mouth. And that's going to help change things for you when you get to the point to where you're dealing with, with people or work or different situations at a different level. Your your will of fortune is going to start turning because you're seeing more clearly, knowing that you can you can you can choose to walk away and look away at people when they say something you don't like, Pisces. You don't have to always jump on them, even though you may feel that way because you're you're defending yourself and that's fine. But sometimes you just got to walk away. Mm, sometimes you just got to walk away. You may not want to, but sometimes you may find it necessary to walk away. And when you walk away, things are going to start changing for you. Don't be so much, of, don't be so afraid of change. Don't be afraid of this will of fortune because you know that there's something the universe wants to do for you, wants to bless you with, but you're looking away. But why look away? Because you're more than capable of handling the good things that come to you. Everything is not always bad for you. Okay. What's your vision? What is it that you want to do? You have a blank canvas. Start over from the beginning if you feel that's something that you need to do here, Pisces. Whatever it is that you need to do, you're capable of it because you're being purified. The universe is purifying you. There's probably something that that hurt you recently. You feel the need to cry about it, to let it out, to release. Maybe you're angry about something. And maybe that's why you've been overindulging, probably in alcohol, eating, maybe binge watching too much TV. And, and also... Um, spending a, a lot of time by yourself. You can do too much of that too, spending too much time by yourself. And you're doing it, like I said, by yourself, whatever that is, because this just that's what you want to do. You want to be by yourself, cope with things by yourself. You don't want anything to bother you because you're already worrying about stuff, crying over things that's happened that you can't change. But you do have two cups of love staring you in the face. All you have to do is turn around. It's here for you. Somebody's just going to make you happy. All you have to do is turn around. Because you have two cups of love waiting for you to heal. You're healing. But you're not moving forward to your to your blissful union to meet someone brand new for you. It's there for you. All you have to do is listen to your uh, listen, listen to your intuition. Listen to the universe. You have something very special for you. You're focused on income right now. A lot of other things you're focused on. You're focused on just being who you are. Drinking. Overindulging. Whatever that is. That's what you're really, really focused on because that helps you calm down. But you're, you're, 
you have a, a, a income coming in through a relationship. Somebody's going to really, really help you. You probably have a female friend who's helping you out too, but you're not seeing that because you're so closed off at the moment with other things that's going on in your mind. Remember your at, get rid of. <laughs> Remember your radiance. How happy you used to be. You can get this happiness back. I think right now you're just choosing to be on a platform of, of loneliness, of being alone, of feeling alone, because you just don't know your what your calling is right now. But your calling is to tell you it's time to move. Let go. Release. It's time for you to get up off that couch. Put the cups down, the bottles down, whatever you're drinking out of, whatever you're eating. Edie's ice cream, strawberry, whatever. Throw it away. Time to let it go and move on. Move forward. Because you're the star. You're the star. You don't have to be a star to be in anybody's show. You're your own star. Self-made boss, self-made millionaire. Take it how it resonates. You have a beautiful love affair that's wanting to come to you. Okay? But you gotta, you got to allow it in. Movement. Look. Movement. Didn't I say movement? It's a movement for you. Letting you know it's time for you to flow with the river. Let it go. And let, let it go. It's time for you to move forward. You have the, the go-ahead from the universe to move forward. Get out of being stagnant. Stagnant. And your karma. Karma is telling you it's time to move. You have a new perspective. There's a new... What's that, that Alice song from back in the day? From the, the sitcom Alice, there's a new girl in town and she's looking good. Your karma is speaking for yourself. It's time for you to go. Let's do this. Let's move on. Onward and upward. We've learned from our mistakes. We've dealt with what we've been through in our childhood. We're not letting that cloud our judgment of who we are now. We're not letting our childhood dictate how we correspond with people when we're face to face. We've been still. We've been by, by ourselves a little bit too long, Pisces. It's time to let go. The Knight of Swords is telling you it's time to move forward because you gain a new perspective in life. The ins the DNA that you have on in the, the the DNA that you have inside of you is firing up. It's on fire, pushing you to move forward to your new life. To remind you that you are a star. Act like it. Okay? I hope this resonates with you, Pisces. I'll see you again next week.